Now joining us in studio is CEO of SAFA, Dennis Mumble. Dennis, you've been in touch with the team. What's the mood like in the camp? Well, I think it's just, uh, it's still good. It's, it's very good as a matter of fact, even after the unfortunate loss on, uh, uh, on Monday. Uh, the team is still, I think they're still in good spirits. Uh, everything that we're getting from everyone there is that this is still a very united team. Mm -hmm. Uh, they're there playing for the country, and so I, I think we're all happy that they see it that way. You see, you're proud in your Bafana Bafana jersey, so was Minister Balula today. Uh, South Africa is still behind the team, isn't it? Yeah, and we, and we encouraged our, our people. I think the support has been great. You know, on Monday, unfortunately, people got a little bit emotional, but I think it lasted for 10, 15 yeah. minutes, and after that, people came back and said, hey, this is about the country. Uh, and we must continue to support this team. Uh, this team has gone there to fight for us, and and I think so far they've 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 shown uh, you know pretty good qualities that I think we can be confident that they will do better. Uh, it's just unfortunate what happened on Monday. Uh, we gave the game away. Sheikh Mashaba was unbeaten in ten matches before that match that we lost. Do you think we're going backwards? Absolutely not. No, absolutely not. Uh, you know, our strategic objective here is we've not really set any targets for 2015. Uh, we've asked uh, the coach to go and build a squad for us for 2017 and 2018, 2018 and 2022 more importantly. Mm -hmm. And so this is a, a good, it gives us a good idea of what it is that we can expect going forward. Uh, we built a very good squad from the under 17s to the under 20s and uh, we've taken some of those players into the senior team. They've done well, unfortunately, Rivaldo is now out. Uh, but that's a good sign for us in the sense that uh, his performance in that team, he's become an anchor in that team. Uh, and so uh, we, 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 are, we are confident that going forward, uh, the younger players that have been introduced into the team will produce those results for us going down the line. So I, I think we're, we are happy overall with where we are. Uh, we did not go there and we never said that we we're going to go there to win AFCON. Uh, I think the expectations, uh, <laughs> given the, the, the way the team has played, I think you know, we, we can expect a whole lot more and a whole lot better from this team. I must ask, um, if we don't make it through the group stages, are we going to use that as an excuse that we sent sort of an experienced team and we're still in building phase? No, you know what, uh, even if we are in a rebuilding phase, it doesn't mean that we, haven't pl that we don't have to play to win. And you saw those players on Monday, they were playing to win. Mm. And, and I think that's what we have to be proud of, is that the fact that they are playing there and, and giving it their all. If they you know, were, were slacking off and not doing what we expect them to do, like, like any senior team would do, or any national team uh, uh, should be doing, then I think we have something to complain about. Uh, but I, I, you know, we've, we've always said that, uh, you know, just because we are in a rebuilding phase, the coach himself has also said that just because we're in a rebuilding phase doesn't mean that we don't have to play to win. And I think this team is playing to win. Everybody has said that. Uh, we are convinced uh, that, that they are there and they are, they are still committed to win. Um, yeah, if they, if they don't succeed in, in, you know, we have to move forward and we really have to now make sure that uh, we, we add some strength and additional, uh, additional strength to that team. And uh, so I, I really don't think we should be that much disappointed uh, because we, 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 are, we are trying to build for, for the future right now. We've, we've said, uh, please don't let our expectations run ahead of us. What is the realistic expectation? Uh, that means I would have to put, I just have to set a target here. So I, I, I don't want to, for us to get into, into that where we, we, we now put targets for this team. We said to, to Sheikhs, please uh, look at the different combinations, use the broad pool of players that we've been able to, that he's been able to build for us over the last two years. You know, he, he built the under 17 squad from scratch uh, in 2012. He went to the zone six games and won those with that squad. Uh, we gave him the under-20 squad a year later. He took the core of that under-17 group and won the Kosafa tournament in December 2013. Uh, now uh, he qualified also for uh, the under-20 and he also assisted uh, in qualification for the under-17 African Youth Championship. And so we have now identified a very broad group of players that we can select from. And so AFCON 2015 is a platform for us uh, to really give that uh, a broad pool of players some additional experience and uh, that's really what we are looking at. This is what we are hoping for. 
uh, you could see the difference in uh, when Rivaldo went off the field on, on, uh, on Monday. It made a huge difference to the team because there was no longer the sweeper, a uh, very reliable sweeper. It, unfortunately, our goalkeeper then uh, had to, to run helter-skelter just all <laughs> over the place trying to, to cover the gaps that were created there. And so uh, we, we are happy with the progress, I think, uh, and, the, and the talent that we've identified. Uh, so I uh, they said our, our key objective this year, uh, let us do well in the under-17 and qualify uh, for the under-17 World Cup mm -hmm. this year. Let's qualify for the under-20 World Cup this year. And this AFCON will help us and has helped us already taking a good Excellent. look at what we can field. Uh, for those two championships. There's also the Olympic qualifiers that come up this year. So our focus is really uh, let us qualify for as many World Cups as we possibly can this year and, and let us just have AFCON in a way take a back seat without saying uh, don't go and win. Uh, Senegal are very big players, very tall players. Um, we know the physicality of them. Mm -hmm. Tough task ahead for um, Friday and it's somewhat of a must-win game. Yeah, well, the Senegal is always a tough, you know, they, they, they bring these six foot five uh, uh, giants onto the field. We, we know they're a, they're a big team. Um, you know, at least we have one consolation. Uh, Tower is back uh, from his one game suspension. And I, I think, you know, it'll plug some of the, the gaps that, that we experienced on Monday. Um, uh, every team, remember these are the top 16 teams on the African continent, so all of the 16 teams, including ours, uh, is a team to reckon with. It's a tough team. Uh, but we will, I, the coach has said we'll approach that game like we approach any other game. We play our game, we focus on our game, and uh, you know, go and do the best that we can, play the South African game uh, on the African continent. So uh, I think the, from, from what I gather from the coach, that the team is ready for this country.